Eric Burgess here, and we've been asked to do the integral of w squared times the natural log of w dw. So this one, pretty classic case of integration by parts, and we might need to apply it a couple of times because right now the, the exponent one right here will go to zero after just a couple iterations. So we're going to run with that as our u. So we're going to say u is equal to w squared v dv is equal to the natural log of w. Be really careful. This is an integration. It's not a derivative. Uh, so if you write 1 over w, you're going to get it wrong. I've seen it on so many tests. I've made that mistake myself on tests. Be really careful. Know which direction you're going. So if we take the derivative of u, we're going to get uh, 2w dw. And if we integrate this, we're going to get v is equal to and the integration of the natural log of w is, and I, I remember it as t ln t minus t, just because it's, it's kind of catchy. Uh, you could derive it from integration by parts if it's not coming off the top of your head. So that would be w ln w minus w. It just not nearly as catchy with w, but that would be what it is. And so knowing this, what we could do now is we can write in the next portion. So we've got w times w natural log of w minus w minus the integral mm -hmm, of 2w times w natural log of w minus w and dw at the end here. So this is actually getting to be a little more gross, but we can still handle it. Oh, but look at this. Our w squared comes back. We seem to be in a stalemate because we've got our w squared back. But we might actually have the same definition as up here. So this might be cyclical. So let's keep going. Let's simplify it so you can sort of see what I'm looking at. And let's, uh, let's just write this out as w cubed natural log of w minus w cubed minus, and what we're going to do is we're going to write this integral out two ways. First way is we're going to write it out with the 2 on the outside, and then we're going to have w squared natural log of w dw minus the integral of w dw. So I just distributed this integral here and here. We can do that, right, because the integral is a linear operator. So we're able to distribute the integral in this way. And we need to distribute this 2w into both of these. And I only distributed it into the first one. So we need to do that, too. So this w times that, this first bit. And then we also need to do it to the second piece. So we're going to have a 2w squared here as well. This is going to be 2w times w. So now that we've split it into two pieces, I want to draw your attention to something uh, that is what I was kind of looking for before was this form right here matches this form up here. And we already said that all these steps we're doing, it's equivalent to that thing that's up there, ln w dw. So we can actually move this over to the other side. If we do that, if we add, if we add two integral omega ln omega d omega to the other side, right? We're going to add that over here, all that stuff. We're going to have three of them. We're going to have three omega squared ln, or I mean w. I knew I was going to slip up eventually. Uh, equals w cubed natural log of w minus w cubed. And then this integral over here, this is, this is an easy integral, right? We're just going to have two times and this is going to be we're going to add one and divide by what we get so we're going to have w cubed over three and then we just divide everything by three and we'll have solved for the integral we are looking for in the first place so when we divide by three i'm just going to write equals here we're going to get w cubed over ln w over three minus w cubed over 3 minus, and this is going to be 2w cubed 
over, and then this three times this three will multiply, we'll get nine, and this will be our final result. Almost made two mistakes. I was looking back over my work really quick, and I've noticed that I forgot to distribute this negative sign across. So this should actually be positive, and this should be positive. And we didn't put a plus C here, making this positive. So this is actually our final answer. That plus C is going to be the death of me. I, if you've ever lost points to it on an exam, you know how excruciating that plus C can be. Now, there is something we can do to this to actually make it simpler. If we get a common denominator here, we can also simplify this. So if we multiply by 3, we'll get a 9 here and a 3 here. And our final answer actually winds up looking a little nicer. We're going to get w cubed times the natural log of w over 3. And then this negative and this positive, right? We've got the same denominator, so we're going to get a 9 on the bottom. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we'll be left with an omega cubed plus c. So we actually get an even nicer looking thing if you decide to combine things. I would be prone to personally stop right here. And yeah, just watch your signs. Easy way to make mistakes is to just accidentally forget to distribute a negative like I did, which would really stink after catching something like this. You feel like you're onto it and then you realize you forgot the negative in the front to move it across. If you have any questions about this, feel free to drop a comment down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and we'll catch you in the next problem.